a little bit of work with the bands. Um, we're going to continue that today. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to add... I'm going to add some unusual paper here. I just got to find the, the perfect spot. I think this will be a good place for our unusual paper. You will remember our unusual paper. It is the... Um, the beautiful paper that we made. You know what? I wonder if we could put this on two pages somewhere. Like where there's two white pages like that. Okay. Um, anyway, this is our beautiful, unusual paper that we made. Um, it is the napkin. It is a napkin. It's the bottom ply of a napkin. So it's the under ply of a napkin added to copy paper using cling wrap and it turns out amazing it's uh it's uh, it feels amazing okay so if i come up here and go ahead and let's see okay where Little yellow butterfly is over here. Okay, I'm gonna fold it. I fold it there. So we'll go ahead and fold it. So we're adding a paper in. And there's a couple ways of doing this. Okay, one of the things is we do want to go ahead and we're going to probably cut that off. But I'm thinking, okay, if I, we ended up with a lot of white pages in this. I think we'll just go ahead and glue these down. Okay. Um, but rather than just gluing them straight down, you know how I am. I love pockets, and I cannot lie. So I am going to add, um, a one is going to have uh, two pockets. Okay, so it's going to have the two pockets. I think we'll do them. Oh, I got the butterfly upside down again. Little yellow butterfly. Okay, little yellow butterflies going over on this side. The two pockets are going to go on this side. Okay, we'll start with that. We'll start with the two pockets. And go ahead and put glue right down here. Glue on the bottom. Glue in the middle. Ish and glue on the top. Okay. Okay, and so this is our unusual paper. And there's more. Okay. There's going to be the pocket there, the middle. And for right now, I think we'll go ahead and leave this. I'm not totally positive how I'm going to put this down. Whether I should just put it down onto the paper. I 
I could make another large pocket there. Oh, I have an idea. Okay, so we're going to come back to this one. But we're going to we're going to work with this one here. So, we are going to take out our band ruffle or not ruffle, but our band, our band band our band roll. Okay? And we are going to grab us a belly band. Okay? So, we're going to end it right here after the word Florence. Okay. And let's go ahead and trim up this side, the ST over here. Okay, so we're going to add a belly band right here on this page using our band. Okay, so this is from our band roll. Okay, so all the way to the edge. Come over here. Okay, so our page for our belly band has unusual paper. Right? Our unusual paper. I love it. Okay. Um, and then I think we can go ahead and use from our one of our uh, these were our mini challenge in the challenge shapeshifter and so I think we can use one of those in there I just want to get an idea of how it's going to look okay um, I do want to add some lace to the edge I'm going to find the right you know, what if we do the really the little lace Okay. Should I go on the whole edge of the page? Yeah, I think we'll go to the whole edge of the page. Okay. The whole edge of the page. And um, I was just going to put it on the belly band there. I chose the whole edge of the page because uh, there's already a tab right underneath it that's kind of would have been the same size. I don't know if you see that. So sometimes change our mind on what we're doing because... The circumstances... Okay, so um, next I'm going to pull out a bulb pin and I saw them, I know they're here. <laughs> till you, till you uh, actually want them, you know, and then you can't find, can't find things, right? Oh, duh. They're back where they they're back where they go. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out a few of them. Okay, I have okay, so bulb pin. That's actually on the list. And let's see. We kind of we have this pretty flowery sequin. And, it, and it's um, iridescent on one side. I want the red side to be the side that shows from... I do like the iridescent side, though. 
Okay, so there's that. And then I have this little charm dangle thing here. Might be a little bell. Okay, and I'm gonna put this on this lace. Okay. Through the page that has I was, I don't know why that isn't staying down. I don't usually have any trouble. Okay, well I'm gonna put it on here and as part of this belly band. I'm literally going to go through well, the paper over here. Huh. Has anybody else had this happen? <laughs> I haven't had this happen. I use this glue all the time. Okay, well, we'll put this on here. Okay, so there is my bulb pen, my charm, and sequin also added to that. Okay. Um, I am going to also go ahead and add a I wanted to just add a small piece of the napkin. So we'll go with this piece here. Okay, so this will take care of my band. The primrose, through primrose tufts, it says. Okay. going to do the dry decoupage so I'm going around the edge outside of the napkin piece okay then I'm going to come back in and go along where the where there's color okay so in the flower on the stem Turn it over. Okay, and then from the the edges, pull the glue towards the outside. Okay, so that is, that is that. How are we doing over here? Are we sticking now? Yeah. Oh yeah. It was just a weird thing. Okay, come up here, trim off our little piece of
have that also. It's a punch. So this is a punch out. Okay, so we have added a belly band using the band roll. Okay, we're going to go ahead and let this, let this dry. And our belly band has napkin, punch out, and lace. It also has a charm, a um, bulb pin, and a sequin so it's it's pretty well taken care of there and then we've just added one of our shapeshifter tags it's already ready to um, to be able to be used and I think we'll go ahead and just quickly also stamp a butterfly on this tag We've been using this stamp, so there we go. Yeah, I like that, especially since there's a little butterfly, two of them, maybe more, on these pages. There's one there. Oh, we've covered the other one to right here. But there we go. Using our belly band roll, we have that. Um, we need to measure that because I don't think that's our full six inches. But do we have... Um, Let's see, let's see, let's see. Where is the ruler? Okay, oh my gosh, five and a half inches. So what we're gonna do, <laughs> we need to use another like inch or half an inch or something from that. Oh, I was, I was thinking I wanted to do this, but I, I make a little, Well, let's go this way. No. We'll go ahead and cut that right down the line. So this is cut apart from our paper pad. Okay. You know what? What if we went for some more words? moments. Under special, because we got already got special there. Okay, so we have special moments, and then what if we went ahead with the yeah 
I like that. So this is the rub on. We're rubbing it on. Whoop. Don't do that. did one of these with my fingernail and it worked really <laughs> worked just fine with my fingernail there we go I like it I like it I like it okay so that gave us another belly band there it's still a little bit wet Okay, so we used our belly band, so we can mark that off of our list, and we used our unique or unusual paper, our button, bulb, pen, or bead, and eraser or charm. Okay, so, and we stamped, so we've used at least all of the items at least once. Yay. Now we can just now we can just go through and have fun and continue to build this journal. So again, we let's see what we have what we've done. And that was our band snippet. Okay? So we used our band snippet we have used our side border text, our card patches and cover patches, our band snippet, our tag, and we did use our envelope. In okay, so we still have our collaged book pages, our altered paper clips, pockets that flip up and down, unusual journal cards with flip or fold snippet roll and um, our ready ruffle that we still need to use in our regular um, items yes we use some of those in the mini challenge in the challenge but those were extra so i hope you are enjoying this and how are your journals coming i am loving this loving 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 this Okay, so there's my extra page. And so we'll add that there. And where's the other place that we were? And we'll put one there. Just in case. Okay. The journal that I made, this is the part one for the April All About That Base Junk Journal Challenge. So this is the base um, you know what? We did already put a couple things in here. So let me grab those, take those out real quick. And, um, okay, so that's already in here. This is in here. I'm not going to be able to do anything about those. And so, okay, so I have a five-hole pamphlet stitch. It's a soft cover. It has a placemat and fabric on top and it has some of the scrapbook paper pad on the inside and I'm using the Mother's R uh, Mother's Day digital kit from Dear Julie Julie. So this is one of the images from the digital. Remember we needed to use two images from the digital so there's one and the second one will be right here. It's the Mother's Song. Okay. Um, then you were to use uh, three pages from your paper pad and in within your pages. So I have one here, I have one here, and um, I have another one here, and I also have this one here. So this one is a pocket. And this one on the other side of it is a little flip out. Okay, 
so it has more than the three pages from the cardstock from the paper pad and it has more than the two digitals it has more than the 15 total pages um, that we were to use and it does have an envelope okay so it has all of its things that it's supposed to have let's go ahead and take a look so I have and this is before I start gluing papers together because you know I will do some of that and this was all from out of my stash I have some um, ledger paper there there's one of the cardstock pages there's the flap for the envelope and this is another image from the Mother's R digital kit, the, the nanny at the park. And we have some graph paper. This is from a quilting book. We have doily. This is another one of the pages from the scrapbook from the cardstock. And this is the one that I flipped up and made into a pocket. Here's some of the coffee dyed paper that I did with the plastic um, doilies. It turned out amazing. And I did make a video of that. So I believe it's in the description box down below. Here's another one of the pages from the scrapbook. This one is an image. This is, e this is a Dear Julie Julie um, kit. I think this is from the background kit. It used to be called the Halloween background kit, but it's for it's the grungy background kit. Holy paper grungy background kit. Mother's song. This is also from the digital kit. Some lined paper. More of the cardstock. And another holy paper. This one's a little bit the coloring, the colors are a little bit different on this one. Let's see. Some more coffee dyed paper. This is from a Thomas Kincaid book. And on the other side, it had some quotes, the coffee dyed paper. Here is the um, paper, and I've gone ahead and glued that in and made a large pocket here. So I took the, the cardstock and one of the uh, background images and glued them together, making a large pocket. Okay. And there's another image from the digital kit, and this is from the other digital kit. Here's the flip out page. It's that. Here's the other side of the coffee dyed paper and the pocket, the quilt page, the graph paper, the other side of the park, the envelope, more cardstock. More holy paper, the other side of the, the music paper, and the, um, the mother and daughter at the park. Okay, And then this is the border side tuck that we've already done and put into the journal as a back page pocket. Okay, so there you go. And now let's go ahead and let's... Uh, put those pages back in so we <laughs> we know where they go so there's our cover patch card patch cover patch and then on in this pocket we have the tag and it has a decoupage napkin on it it also has fabric the small tag and a sequin Okay, so I had forgotten that it had the napkin on there. That's one of our elements that we have to do. Okay, and then we have the, the large card that we made in the mini challenge in the challenge. Okay. And you can put those in there either way. Okay, so let's see what we did. We went ahead, we added our unusual paper, which was our napkin under ply apply uh put together with clean wrap onto copy paper and we've added that into the journal here we added it and now we have these two pockets we're going to want to go ahead and just use our one inch hole punch and 
that way we know that these pockets are here. Okay, so see, you've got those two pockets there. We have the belly band, and we added a napkin, a punch, a punch out. So this came from one of my punches. Um, we stamped on the shapeshifter card that we added here. Over here, we've added lace to the edge, a bulb pin with a sequin and a charm. And so those all count as part of the belly band here. And then for our long, tall belly band, we added a rub on. We cut out one of the words from the paper, from the paper pad. We had some map and one of the digital images and some lace that we've added to this one. And then we've just added a little card underneath there. Okay, so that is adding um, belly bands using our band roll. This is what I have left from our band roll. And um, so we needed to use at least six inches. This was five and a half. So we went ahead and we went for it. We just went ahead and added that other piece there. I hope you enjoyed the flip through of the journal and what we've added in so far. And um, with that, I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to go watch one of these videos. I have the playlist up there for the April challenge as well as YouTube's going to pick something that they think you want to watch. Um, please go watch something after this because it really does help my channel. And also come back and make a comment um, that also helps my channel be seen so that other people can watch the video. So thank you so much for that. Find something to celebrate every day and have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.